Libra, hello, welcome to another February 2023 tarot reading. I hope you're well. If you're new here, my name's Jade. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Libra, please keep in mind this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everyone, but if it does, please remember to give the video a like. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so that I have more lovely Libra energy to work with. Now, let's jump straight in. I've already pre-pulled your energy oracle cards for past, present, future. We're going to talk about that. Then we will dive deeper in with the tarot, followed, followed rather by your love messages and finishing off with your advice, okay? Now, Libra, when I was meditating on your energy, I suddenly felt quite tired um, and I saw the color yellow, which does correspond to the solar plexus chakra, which is our life force energy, right? And then the first card that came out to you in your recent past is door to personal healing and happiness in the reverse. So I definitely feel like in the recent past, some of you, it's not going to be for everyone, right? Only take the parts that resonate for you. But I definitely feel for some of you, either you've been super tired in the recent past or maybe for some of you, your health has not been in tip top shape or, you know, just been feeling kind of low energy is what I'm getting. Okay. However, in the present energy, moving into the current times, much better energy. We have appreciation and... I'm getting from this that you have made a decision, Libra, which is fantastic, to focus on gratitude, to focus on what's going well in your life. You know, you may have a whole bunch of shit happening, but there's always something to be grateful for, right? And I feel like you are recognizing that, so well done. And that is what actually allows your healing and happiness to come through, right? And don't we know it because look what you're then attracting in the near future. We have a woman holding a heart beautiful it's going to be different for everyone for some of you i'm getting this is new love um for others of you it's a deepening of the love in your current situation your current relationship or this can even just be self-love an abundance of self-love we'll dive deeper in with the tarot but i really like the progression of the energy libra beautiful we're going from feeling low energy feeling maybe unhappy or tired or sick to gratitude to attracting love so beautiful well done good for you my lovely libra what else do we need to know please let me know in the comments if any of this resonates for you libra i love to hear your stories i think it's nice for everybody to kind of share their stories and support each other and know that we're not alone you know Okay, clear, concise messages, please, for Libra. What's going on? What do we need to know? What's happening at this time? Libra. Thank you. Mm, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, first of all, Libra, this is giving me um, financial security and stability, which is fantastic. For some of you, it could be an unexpected um, influx of money or like an inheritance or something like that. I'm also picking up family from this. So, this situation whatever it was that had you low energy or whatever, it could be something to do with family or um, your business. Hmm. This is ruled by Mercury, this card, which is communication and mindset. So yeah, I feel like you're leveling up your mindset, Libra, which is beautiful. Okay, we have the Six of Cups, definitely to do with family for some of you, specifically children. Hmm interesting somebody from your past may want to um reconcile with you libra for some of you yeah we have the ten of wands yeah for the most part only take it if it fits but i'm getting for some of you there was something here to do with family specifically children or past that really just became a burden that's why this door to healing and personal happiness was in the reverse. Something became a huge burden here. Something was just too hard 
overwhelmed you, stress, problems, you know, definitely. Hmm. What else? Some of you may have felt taken for granted. Yeah, the tower. Something happened here. Some kind of sudden change. Something had to fall apart. But as we know, or if you don't know, the tower is things falling apart so that things can come together. It's all, there's always a purpose to the tower. It's not just random destruction. It's for a reason, right? Yeah. Something had to change here. But that doesn't mean that it wasn't painful. Right, or that it didn't, you know, suck your energy dry. Mm -mm -mm. But hello, moving into the present. Hi, Knight of Cups. <laughs> and the Emperor. Wow. Okay. So, Libra, first of all, I feel like you can expect things to get a lot more stable and secure. Okay. Look at the bottom of the deck death and the six of swords this is a personal transition that you've had to go through or that you're going through and it's leading for some of you to new love or to self-love or to a love of life again to creativity again to romance um some of you may find an aries coming towards you mm -hmm, i like that Someone who knows what they want. Someone who can offer you stability, passion, romance. Who's not afraid to take action towards you. Queen of Wands. Love it. Things feeling more vibrant again. Your life force energy increasing again. No more feeling drained and tired and stuck and weighed down. No more of that. No more sun in reverse. Moving into Nine of Pentacles energy, baby. Yes. Independence, feeling yourself. Independent and sexy. <laughs> Confident, attracting, becoming magnetic. I'm telling you, as you focus on gratitude, Libra, you attract in amazing things towards you. It's coming if you remain focused on gratitude. <clears throat> There you are, the Empress. Yeah, it's in reverse. I feel like some of you, you may be finding it hard to move on or someone's finding it hard to move on from you, but I do feel like you're doing it though. You're healing, you're finding your balance again, you're finding yourself again. Yeah, definitely. Hmm, that's nice. What else for Libra? Don't be scared of change, Libra. Some of you may have a decision on your hands and you're scared to make the decision. Don't be. <clears throat> Good news is coming your way, Libra. Good news for the page of ones here. You may get some kind of message with some really good news. Hmm. Could be a fire sign. There's a lot of fire energy here. Stay optimistic. Yeah, beautiful. You are. Light at the end of the tunnel, Libra. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. You're recovering. You're letting go of negativity and stress. I see that. Nine of Swords in reverse. You're trying your best. You're letting go of that and you're focusing on gratitude. You're focusing on the future. Beautiful. Keep doing that because you're attracting in the good stuff by doing that. Love it. <clears throat> yeah let go of anybody who doesn't appreciate you as well okay you deserve Libra you're such a beautiful soul and you deserve to connect with people who actually value you who appreciate you yeah there's definitely there could be somebody around you who didn't appreciate you in the past and now they're spying on you isn't it always the case <laughs> mm-hmm now they want to come in and appreciate you definitely could be a fire sign there's so much fire here definitely could be um an aries mm, now they want to come in 
fast, all reckless. I feel like someone who is overly confident as well, like they feel like they know they can get you. Five of Swords, they're not worried about competition, they'll fight anyone for you type of thing. <laughs> I don't know what that's talking about. Let's go into the love messages, let's find out what's happening here. For Libra. Libra. What can you tell me about love for Libra? What's coming towards Libra in love? Thank you. Hmm? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I'm telling you, some of you have somebody new coming in towards you. You're attracting someone new. Or as I said, the bond between you and someone you're already with is like... It's like going back to the begin beginning again. Going through the honeymoon phase again. But I do feel strongly for, that it's new love for most of you. What else for Libra, please? In love. Some of you may definitely be travelling. I've seen that a few times here. There could definitely be something about overseas travel. You may meet somebody when you travel overseas. Mm -hmm. We have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. And then we have this could be the one in reverse. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So I definitely feel like, yeah, there's two energies here, okay? I feel like there's an ex, possibly the reason why you were in this energy. We don't need to be given, that's, that's not the one. That's not the one. However, this new love coming in, yeah, give that a chance is what I'm getting. I only take it if it resonates, but I definitely feel two separate energies here, two different people. Mm. Anything else? Libra, thank you. We have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally, but it did come out in reverse. So that tells me that actually you may need to not be too passive during this time, Libra. Tell me more. Or someone is not, yeah, I feel like it's this person, this ex. They're not about to let things unfold naturally. No, 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 they're not playing. <laughs> Playfulness in reverse. Oh my God. <laughs> or it could even be this new person, right? When you meet them, not in a horrible controlling way, but like, they're not playing about you. The emperor came out, right? They're serious. They're not gonna let it unfold naturally. They're gonna come in like, this is what I want, but in a good way, you know, like somebody who knows what they want and goes after it. What else, please, for Libra in love? Things are definitely gonna get better, Libra. Just stay focused on gratitude. And, and I'm hearing as well, focus on what you can actually control right okay and we have religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious bringing and spirit sorry that made no sense your religious upbringing and spiritual path and look can't make it up bottom of the deck release your ex <laughs> the time has come to clear your energy there you go thank you for the confirmation definitely two separate energies here one ex and one new coming in towards you Make sure that you're in the right spiritual place, the right energetic place to let this in. But you will be, I can see that. You're attracting it through gratitude, which is beautiful. Can I have my music back, please? Thank you. Let's see what else for Libra before we get into your Archangel cards and your advice. Exciting times, Libra, exciting times. Just take some time to heal, to get back into your lovely energy. Focus on gratitude and you will be attracting in lovely things. Beautiful. Libra. What messages do you have for Libra, please? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nice. We have imagine. May you look beyond what can be seen. And then we have compassion. May you tend to the suffering. Yeah. Be kind to yourself during this time near the bottom of the deck. Joy. It's coming. Be compassionate with yourself. Be kind to yourself. 
believe you know look beyond what can be seen your circumstances may be one way now but that doesn't mean they can't do a 180 in the near future baby a 180 okay let's get your archangel power cards what messages do we have for libra what does libra need to know at this time libra Mm -hmm. seven of Raphael. time to make a decision be clear on what you want and take action and a need for detoxification also i'm definitely picking this up for some of you you're going to have a decision between two people between a past person and a new love so get clear on what you want now so that you can attract what you want anything else for libra we have the ace of ariel it's your lucky day new resources of money time or support and a change in job or a promotion nice see not only are we attracting new love we're attracting all manner of things we're attracting positive shit money jobs i did see that with the ten of pentacles right some of you are definitely gonna um receive some kind of unexpected influx of money beautiful attracting great things attracting great things love it anything else Ooh, wow too many anything else for libra before we jump into the advice what else is coming towards Libra? Libra. <clears throat> what else is coming towards Libra? Bear with me, Libra. I don't pull cards. I only take them if they jump out. Okay? That's just how I do it. Because I want to make sure that you only get the most accurate, clear, concise messages that are meant for you. There we go. It always comes eventually. And, I mean, I can't make it up. <laughs> we have the lovers. Make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitment. The power of love. You see? Yeah. You're, Libra, you're definitely going to have a choice here. You have a choice. And I strongly feel that it's between two people. So make that choice from your heart. Okay, you will know what the right choice is. We do have release your ex that came out. The new love would be the better option. But we all have free will, right? Okay, what is the advice, please, for Libra? Thank you. Confidence is your key to success. Mm-hmm. Prosperity lies ahead. I'm telling you, wow. Look at that. Prosperity lies ahead, Libra. You are attracting great things. That's all I can keep saying. Confidence is your key to success. Yes. Know your worth, Libra. Know your worth. Too many. Any other advice for Libra? Yep. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah. I'm telling you. What more can I say, Libra? Focus on gratitude. Keep your energy, keep your vibration high. And you are attracting in all sorts. New love, money, job opportunities, travel, all of it. Beautiful. I hope this helps you, Libra. Please let me know in the comments if this resonated for you. And don't forget to give the video a like. I wish you a beautiful, beautiful month ahead. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.